<laughs> oh my goodness. I sat here and talked for almost 20 minutes and it was not recording. So we're going to have to start this back over again. Oh, this is annoying. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Walanda. If you are new here, welcome and I hope you stay, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. So if you are coming from IG, then this, you probably don't know, you, you're a little late because YouTube has been knowing for some time now through videos. So catch up. I got plenty of vlogs for you guys to see. So as you could tell by the title, I'm going to speak about why I decided to move not only out of the country, but to Dubai specifically. I'm going to try to make this very, very short. And if you guys want me to elaborate on anything, just let me know and I'll do a video on it because I know I could talk and I know I could go into details and I know this video could be extremely, extremely long. So let's just go ahead and do some bullet points on why I decided to move out the country all right so um the first time i came to dubai was back in 2019 when i came with a, a crew called one africa fest they do music uh festivals all over and i was one of the influencers that came out i wouldn't necessarily consider that to be my full experience of dubai because it was literally a party as soon as i landed it was hit the ground running it was drinking it was partying and it was only for the weekend i felt like thinking back it felt like it was <laughs> like a week long two week long thing we would drink go out to the one of their activities and then come back i like 6 7 a.m eat breakfast go to sleep and do it all over again the entire time it was a blast though i could honestly say i had a blast 2019 but i wouldn't consider that my full experience my full experience of dubai was when i decided to come on my own on 2021 march of 2021 i came for about two weeks up uh, right until right before ramadan and i completely enjoyed it i was by myself it was a solo trip i feel like a lot of people thought like i was flewed out or something nah i paid for myself at that time i definitely was i fell in love it, it opened up a new viewpoint of life for me honestly like if you guys don't know dubai is if not the most or one of i want to say like top three of the safest place to live when it comes to the crimes is very low um i feel like cost of living you can definitely find cost of living lower here depending on where you're coming from me living in the metro area of atlanta it is expensive us is expensive period but atlanta because it's that city um is that city <laughs> it is expensive and i feel like here is way more affordable yes there are lux and there are ultra lux mega lux and then there's regular and then there's poor and then you know there's different levels of dubai it just depends on what you want what you can afford to be honest and the thing about me i don't like faking no funk okay what you see what you get if i can afford it i can afford it and i'm gonna tell you i can't afford it period you know i don't have a shame in that like if i can't i can't i definitely enjoy myself the two weeks i was here it was definitely the complete opposite of the first time that i came and I liked it. I felt like 2019 and 2020, I definitely partied out because if you guys don't know, Atlanta was open for most of COVID, all of COVID, damn near all of COVID. It was only closed for about four to six weeks. The main reason that I decided to even move out of the US in general is just the way the crime and the, the safety and everything became when I was like during COVID when I was in Atlanta. Um, I know crime rose everywhere, people were desperate everywhere, but I just feel like U.S. people are already, people already have that mindset, they could do whatever, say whatever, and it just got worse and worse. I used to live East Atlanta, like around Edgewood area, but the nicer part of Edgewood, not Edgewood, the nicer part. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was as in much of a threat than I was when I moved to Buckhead and Buckhead. Who gonna Buckhead? Moon have a cop with the Buckhead, Moon keep it tax with the Buckhead. You know, it's more of like the 
the the nicer side the elite the luxury side of Atlanta and it was I mean, it had its pros, but at the same, same time, it had a lot of cons because a lot of people were moving into the city because we we're open <laughs> and they were just messing it up. My car got broken into. I started to feel very unsafe. I didn't want to go anywhere. I honestly, like, I would l want to do more intimate stuff, like go to a friend's house and just chill there. I didn't want to go clubbing. I didn't want to go do none of that, even though I was really tired of clubbing. Um, I just didn't want to do anything in big, big settings anymore because people were just shooting at people for no reason. I didn't want to walk into the mall. Honestly, for anything, I would order what I want online, either get shipped to my house or I pick it up in the mall and then walk out all before noon because after 12 o'clock, I feel like it's just a lot of chaotic stuff going on. People were shooting at movie theaters. It was just a lot, a lot. And... For what I was paying, I feel like the quality of life was not there. So I definitely decided when I came back to the US, I wanted to be out, honestly. Even though I was traveling a lot of places, Dubai was what attracted me more. Like you would think islands, mm, nah. You would think Paris probably because I'm, I was there a lot in the past month month or two of my birthday but i'm like nah even when i was here for the two weeks back in march i started to look into properties either rental properties or properties to purchase you know started to think about investment moves all of that so i definitely was t like honed in to really relocating out of the u.s so when i came back from Dubai back in March, I immediately started to do research on the visas, the type of residencies I can have for me to stay longer term in Dubai. So I kept all of that quiet until, um, yeah, I was ready to move. I didn't tell any of my friends. Um, if you guys want me to go more in depth on what type of visa I'm on, I mean, I will tell you what type of visa in this video right now, but if you want more in depth on the process and all of that, let me know and I'll do a separate video. I started to apply for the remote work visa, which is basically, I mean, I work for myself, so it's my company hiring me as an employee and i'm able to work remotely so that was the best one at that time that i that i researched um that i could choose from and it gives me a year of residency because with a u.s passport you only get 30 days to stay in the country and then you gotta leave um being that i wasn't able to uh, finish the process before the 60 days because they give you 60 days to finish everything i knew i wasn't going to be back in dubai until november of 2021 with one africa again so i had to reapply when i came back into dubai and i did that the um, application process took a little longer of course just my luck it ended up being dubai's uh independence day like 50th independence day so they were closed for a couple of extra days it elongated a lot of the process um but i had to go back to the u.s because i had to work i had campaigns i had to fulfill and i've already was out since gosh i was out since october 30th and i returned back to the u.s december 9th 9th or 10th so i was out for a while and i had to get work done so i couldn't be out for any longer i left went home packed everything even though my visa nothing was prepared i don't even know if i was gonna get approved or not i still don't know to this day even though all my stuff is packed i'm still waiting for my visa to be approved or denied i'm just uh, it's putting me on edge but i'll try to keep myself busy and not to think about it too much but um i went home packed everything took everything to my mom's y'all see the vlog and then i'm back here and just patiently waiting patiently waiting now that you guys know the backstory is a couple of reasons which i've already mentioned a little bit throughout uh, my story of why i moved to dubai one safety wise low crime rate just knowing that if i work hard to earn my cash 
to earn my money to earn my lifestyle and I purchased something like no one is just gonna come and try to take it from me I don't understand how people are like that like why are you just going in and taking something that's not yours that doesn't make sense to me like I work hard for the TV that I put in my house why are you walking up into my territory to steal something that I bought with my money like it makes no sense so that was really such a distasteful part of being in the US people are reckless they just come in and take everything or they just break into your stuff like why are you breaking into my car to try to steal my car and try to steal whatever items are that are in my car why why do I have to pay $200 for a broken window like why that's just a piece of knowing anything that I buy for myself I mean I'm gonna ruin it if anything and not not anybody else is gonna come and try to steal that I feel like that was the biggest mm, mm -mm, I didn't like so for other places that are known for theft and for mischief like that like London Paris New York um, even the islands as well because it's like resources are scarce um, over there what else um, those type of places are not places I would find myself attracted to because they all have the same underlying problem which is people are able to go in and do these things to your items to the things that you work hard for and there's not much of a consequence for it they they don't get hunted down whereas here you can definitely be sure because they have cctvs everywhere that the person is going to pay for what they did it's not heaven on earth i'm not thinking this is the most perfect place ever everything everywhere everybody has flaws has things to improve has its downfalls has its cons i already know that so it's not it's not oh this is perfect to me no it's not but it is a better choice for me cost of living oh my goodness taxi compared to ubers in the u.s are you serious what i could go good 20 minutes away for like 11 dollars. to be honest <laughs> what uh food delivery is super affordable here i would not even think i probably use uber eats probably a good out of my own check like my own account not somebody ordering for me out of my own account probably a, i could count on one hand on how many times i've used it because it's just so expensive by the time you get pay for your meal all the service charges all the tips or everything is just double sometimes triple the amount of you paying for that one meal so i don't use that i just rather get in my car and vroom 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 drive to the place uh, but here it is so affordable i'm literally ordering food <laughs> all the time and it's just so 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 affordable i feel like cost of living is can be cheaper here it depends on who you are and all of that one big 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 thing that is very important to me at this age at this stage of my life at this moment is peace like you don't understand how precious peace is until you're in solitude with yourself and you're fine. I'm always in solitude with myself. A lot of my friends <laughs> think sometimes I'm antisocial. I'm just very like off-putting and I'm not. It's just I have a balance of yeah, I can deal with you and I can deal with myself too. Like I'm the type of person I'll maybe do you guys want me to do date night? get ready with me because i'm always looking cute and going out to eat going out to restaurants on my own like just for dinner just because not for any reason so let me know if you guys like that stuff like that I see people starting to do that i'm like girl i've been doing that <laughs> i get so cute like i'm going on an actual date and i sit at the bar and just enjoy myself and just talk to the bartender or talk to the seafood with the oyster oyster people or talk to the hoes i just be yap especially if i have wine in me i will keep on going forever you gotta be like yo tap on me to go <laughs> in order for me to stop talking 
but um i just enjoy being on my own like it's a sense of peace it's just so beautiful so i feel like here there's a sense of peace like there's a sense of aloneness when i was watching a lot of the dubai vlogs it was um cons about moving to dubai and one of them would be oh you always feel lonely i'd be like that's a kind and what ah that's a plus for me because i mean i talk to my family almost every day we facetime we text we don't see each other in person often even when i was in atlanta my mom came to see me twice the whole four years i was there my siblings never came i wasn't feeling homesick i wasn't feeling like oh i had to be near these people because the the communication was there all the time so i mean i that's why i was like me moving out here i don't feel it'll be any different the only difference is the time difference so i cannot just text and expect a reply right away because they're most likely going to be asleep and i'm going to be awake and vice versa also um here is tax free on your income so if you are a business owner you know that us will tax you 30 40 50 percent of what you make and here that's not the case so as long as your business is set up here and you're making income from here then you'll be fine um what else uh, go, go, go. oh the another big 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 part of me choosing dubai specifically is because it's a very good travel hub you guys know that i travel a lot being where dubai is sited, situated on the map you could easily go to asia could easily go up to europe you could easily go to africa it's right next door you could easily go to us from here and it won't be as drastic as you're going from us all the way to asia or you're coming from us all the way to europe and there's flights all the time yeah it's a big travel hub and i'm the type of person i don't see myself just being situated in one place forever i mean getting the taste of travel getting the taste of um, different cultures getting the taste of just not being around the same type of people all the time and just being single-minded what else what else what else i haven't really dabbled into the business side of dubai whereas like meeting people for work and stuff and that's definitely what i am planning on to do while i'm here just connecting with people because there's a lot of business minded people out here i definitely don't have to worry about rent because it's already paid for up front so if you can dish out how many thousands of dollars all at once then you you're you're good um i probably do an updated video later on when i'm more situated right now i'm still airbnb out until my visa come or don't come y'all what if they tell me i have to go back to the u.s and they, i mean they won't tell me how to go back to the u.s but they'll say you can't stay here where i'm gonna go where out oh those were the main reasons honestly safety and peace <laughs> safety peace of mind and allowing me to hold on more to my coins so i can invest more into myself invest more into businesses invest more into other people because for you to help out others you have to fully like you you can't be needing help still it doesn't make any sense like you can't be struggling and trying to help other people then y'all both in the rat race definitely having more funds more finances um improving my life uh financially mentally spiritually physically all of that um i'm just scared about the summer the summer heat <laughs> If you guys have any specific questions, let me know down below. I'll probably do a separate video if I if it's too much for me to explain in the comments. Anyways, that's all I had to say in this video. I will definitely um, see you guys in the next. Any questions, like I said, leave them down below. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolates. And like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.